Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing fantastically well. Look, uh, I hope you don't think I look like an absolute you-know-what with these on. I ain't taking them off, trust me. It was a heavy, heavy night last night. Um, so my bags are carrier bags at the minute, shopping bags. So yeah, that ain't, that ain't moving. These aren't moving. I'm not just doing it to be all cool on a video. I'm not, trust me. They are covering some bad, bad eye coverage. Okay. So, hello, welcome back to sunny Gran Canaria. It is absolutely picturesque, 28 degrees here as I face the sand dunes. Um, yeah, there you go, West Africa, over the, uh, over the ocean there. We've got Morocco, a little geography discussion. Why? You know, I found that interesting when I was coming here. Five hours on a plane, everyone. Jesus Christ, that was tough. Cramp is the word. But anyway, <clears throat> Leeds United. What's been going on? Uh, what has been going on? What hasn't been going on? Obviously, we know that our boys have picked up the awards, but on top of that as well, um, it's been a lot of rival watch um, this this week so far. And I wanted to discuss what's been going on. So make sure you're liking the video. As always, head on over to the Patreon. I've got some um, summer shirts and all this sort of stuff. Uh, hit the link in the description below. Back for X1 Leeds collaboration. So, yeah, uh, here we go. It is... The big, the big news this week is Southampton, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I managed to catch a little bit of the game last night. Never against Preston. And uh, slight worry. Slight worry. They are now three points behind us and they are beating Coventry. Obviously, they bashed Preston last night. And I have to say, everybody watched the extended highlights. Managed to get them up. They're about 11, 12 minutes long and they just absolutely battered them. Uh, <laughs> so, it feels like they're coming into form at the right time. This is exactly as a championship club when you need to be coming into form. I feel, obviously, going into the running, there's like Ipswich, Leicester and Leeds United naturally have just sort of drifted off a little bit right now. I think there's been pretty much two points splitting about, you know, six, six, seven games between us all really, which is absolutely horrendous. Leeds in, you know, awful form, Leicester in awful form, Ipswich in okay form. I think Ipswich are about seventh in the form table at this moment in time, which should be fine to get them over the line, really. But <clears throat> I think the obvious thing is, is Leeds United right now. You know, a drastic improvement is needed in form. Not scoring against Blackburn or Sunderland. I think that's one of the, 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 the brutal stats that, that when you think about it, really. You know, was not scoring against Blackburn or Sunderland. It's mental when you think about it. So, yeah, I think that's the concerning thing. But it looks like Southampton are free flow flowing a little bit now, they're scoring goals, obviously Preston didn't have a lot to play for last night, it's interesting now when you look at Ipswich's schedule in my opinion as well, because I do think they've got obviously Coventry and Hull away from home, which on paper would be tough games, but are they teams right now where you think, do they believe that they're going to get into the playoffs? Probably not, I don't think so. Now obviously you look at Middlesbrough, um, I think Realistically, are they going to get in there? I think Norwich are on fire at the minute, so that's not going to happen. However, what I will say about Borough, the difference about us playing them is I think it's just that local derby feel. You know, so that I think that's our really tough game now. But I put something out on Twitter the other night, <clears throat> and it was about Southampton. Now, I thought it would be done and dusted before this, to be honest with you. I thought it all would be over. Leeds would know their fate by now, but we don't. The beautiful thing is we're only two points off and we're still going to be minimum playoffs you know it's not like the season's over and done with but we want to get into those automatics I don't want to be falling into third going into a playoff run really with the form we're in at the minute I'd rather it's just you drove a Bristol Rovers you know 0-9-10 when we stumbled over the line on the last day of the season Max Gradlegate you know we need to do that again we just need to get over the line because it's not that I don't trust Leeds United it's just I don't trust right now the you know, it's not like it's not like it's nostalgia or it's not like it's 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 historical context where I'm worried about Leeds in the playoffs. It's just the form that the team are in right now. We just need to gather a little bit of form towards the end of the season. Seven points might do it. You know, <clears throat> two wins and a draw might do it. But even if we're not right, even if we're not able to do that, what we need to be doing, like getting getting in the automatics. But I do think we need to be having a bit of form going into the playoffs if, if that is going to be where we're going to end. You know, I don't think it can be a case of us stumbling into the back end of the season with loss or, or draws. I think I'd arguably like seven, nine points, you know, and that would make me feel a lot better, even just going into the back end of the season, to be honest with you, you know, regardless of our fate. But 
it does feel like I do look at Ipswich's fixtures. I know they've got Huddersfield as well last day of the season, which could be really tough, actually. I think importance-wise, that's probably similar to QPR for us in terms of a comparable set of fixtures. I think we've, we've, us and Ipswich have actually got really similar fixtures in terms of difficulty. I actually look at Leicester's and think that theirs is the toughest. But the difference is right now with Leicester, obviously they've got West Bromwich Albion at home, they've got Southampton at home. You know, I think the difference with them is they've just got that extra game, which I believe is, I think it's Preston, but they've got Blackburn in there as well. So I think that's the extra game uh, really there. But the ones that we should be talking about, everyone, is, is Southampton. You know, they're on a, a, an absolute rich vein of form right now. And because we've all bottled it so far, in terms of Leeds, Leicester and Ipswich, when it just comes to generic form, we've allowed them right back into it. So now they are three points behind us with an, a game in hand, so they can level points with us. And I would look at Southampton's running and barring Leicester, I think it's probably the best out of the four, to be honest with you. So it is, yeah, they're right back in it now. They could win the league, you know, which is a nuts thing to think about. We'd, we're, we're, you know, I said after Easter weekend when they picked up a point out of six, I said that was it, they're done. I said one team would finish that Easter weekend and be out of it. And it was Southampton, they were done, in my opinion. I thought they'd shot, the, shot themselves in the foot, but they didn't. Carried on, plugged away, got the wins, got the confidence, restored. And whatever Southampton's outcome is, it's going to be, it's going to be as in playoffs, you know, or automatics. Um, they, they've given themselves a real chance, a real, real chance to get promoted out of this league. And with that squad, you know, Shea Adams getting two last night, obviously Armstrong getting another one. It's a good squad. <clears throat> we all know it's a very good squad. And I think that game on the on the last day of the season is huge because I think it's it's two teams who obviously have struggled at, at certain points this season. But I remember when we played Southampton down at St Mary's and it was a really, really tough game. And I know Rodon was out. I know Rodon was out. And obviously it was a very, very tough game to play. In, but their press, how they controlled the game. We couldn't get the ball off them. They were ruthless. Armstrong was ruthless. Probably quite unlucky not to get in team of the season, to be honest with you. I think that that is going to be a really, really tough game. And I think a lot of Leeds fans are looking at it right now and saying it's Borough. And I do think Borough is going to be a really tough game. But let's be brutally honest about it. This is this is a level up. You know, it's not... If we're being brutally honest about it, this isn't... I think Borough's form is really, really good at the minute. They're a tough team to play. But their quality isn't comparable to, to Southampton's. And Southampton are able to dominate games just with possession. I mean, the, even the Ipswich game. You know, Ipswich game when they played them, Southampton absolutely battered them, and a wrongful sending off essentially led to their downfall. Really, James Breeding sent off in that one, so they are a dangerous outfit. And, and right now, you know, I think QPR has a must win. I think it's a must win game now. Like, you know, I don't think we can drop drop points. I mean, I said earlier on when it comes to form going into the playoffs, it'd be nice to just have seven points out of nine, nine points out of nine, obviously. And then we can't really do anything more. Um, but there has to be there has to be some sort of bounce back. There has to be a resurgence for Leeds United. And it feels like the easier game right now, obviously the easier game is going to be QPR, but it's not going to be easy. You know, Ipswich is an argument. That Huddersfield could be their toughest game, you know, remaining because they've got something to fight for. Hull, Coventry, I know they're good teams, but are they done now? The only factor that keeps us and, and you know, Middlesbrough in the conversation, because I think Middlesbrough are done, I think that is going to be wrapped up as Norwich's sixth spot, which is something that we have to keep an eye on as a fan base anyway. But um, it's the fact that it's a local derby um, and Borough just don't like because they hate us. It's the Riverside, they've, they've turned around there, but the beauty is they're going to come at us. They are going to come at us. They're going to try and win that game, which should play into our hands. QPR have to come at us at home because obviously uh, they need to stay in the division. And they've still, they're still got a, a real chance of getting relegated. And then, obviously, you know Southampton are going to come at us. So you've got three teams there who are probably going to play into Leeds United's hands, which is a big plus. Um, but we have to win the game. You know, we have to win games. And, and this is where we're at now, right now with Leeds United and all the other clubs in and around us are they're picking up points. Uh, well, I said that all the clubs in and around us, it's, it's Southampton, isn't it, who are picking up those points, those valuable points. And... Yeah, the fixtures analysed. Gavin Bazuno is the big is the big talking point for this one. He's going to be out for the rest of the season. He limped off yesterday. McCarthy, obviously formerly of Leeds, was back involved um, as their second choice keeper. It's not a bad second keeper. Is it Alex McCarthy coming in? And that is the big news so far. He's going to be out for the rest of the season. He's been a big plus for them all season. Obviously signed from Manchester City. Um, he's, a, he's a decent keeper at this level. A really decent keeper at this level. A couple of errors, but I think every keeper's got an error in him at this level. 
Um, but yeah, he's the big. He's going to be the big miss for them. But Alex McCarthy coming in for three games is is more than enough sustenance, really. Um, it's probably a better second replacement than Carl Darlow, really, isn't it? So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's just been a little bit of a chat of where we are, really. You know, as I gaze out into a June, um, where we are, what's going on, how we go forward. I'm really interested to hear what you think in terms of the fixture breakdown. When things come out, I'll be doing videos, obviously. And guys, it's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.